Hey guys, it's Nick, aka the one my Crisis YT, and today I'm going to be showing you how to live stream to YouTube using the default Game Capture HD software, the Elgato Game Capture HD software. So get your software up, and I am on Bing here, because why the hell not? And uh, to live stream to YouTube, it's very simple. Now, by default, we're going to be on the Capture tab here. By the way, this software is in the description if you don't already have it, but if you have an Elgato, chances are you do. But anyway, we're on the Capture tab, we're going to scroll down until we see live streaming. We're going to hit this plus button right here. It's going to hit plus little pop-up box there hit YouTube it's gonna bring up this menu and now it's it might ask you this if you've got your YouTube already logged in on your primary browser it might take you straight to here but most likely let me go ahead and actually sa sign out real quick it's gonna take you to this screen and all you need to do is you just need to simply sign in to whatever your YouTube account is now this is going to be your Gmail email or whatever email you use to sign in to your YouTube account. Sorry, I'm doing a bunch of things at one time here. I'm trying to type in my password, and then boom, there you go. You'll be able to log into your YouTube account, and it will take you back to this screen. Now, once you're here, you just simply hit accept at the bottom, and it's going to do all of its jibbly jew and link to your YouTube. Now, it's done. Look at this right here. Select it. That's your YouTube account. That should be your YouTube email. And now you're pretty much ready to go. You can title your stream here. We'll title it Test Stream. It's already titled that. And your bitrate. Now, this is kind of important. Um, your bitrate needs to be about half of whatever your upload speed is. So, for me, I have a 4 megabytes per second upload speed. So, I can stream at 2 megabytes per second. If you have a 1 megabyte, you probably don't need to be streaming at all. If you have a 2, you can stream at 1 megabyte per second and all that stuff. Just half your internet speed is what I would recommend. But you can stretch it and go more. It just really depends. So once you've done that, you want to click this button right here, and it will begin to create your live event on YouTube. Now, it's not going to go public right away, which is a really, really good thing. Now, this process does take a minute, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and let it do its thing, and I'll cut back in whenever it has been completed. All right, so now our live event has been completed. We know this because that loading box has went away, and there is now this green little symbol right here. Now, don't worry, it's probably not live in public yet. You just simply go here to this box, and you can change it from private to public to unlisted. Now, I'm not going to do any of that because of how, you know, I don't want this to go live to all the subscribers on the Crisis Hub. But what I will show you guys is how to access this event. It's really easy. So we're going to go in here. We're going to go to My Upload. So click right up here in the corner on your avatar, Video Manager. Once you're here, click Live Events right under Uploads on the left sidebar. And then boom, here you are. You can edit this. You can see all of this stuff and change all of these settings. And then go back and live event control room right here. This is going to be very, very useful because you can actually preview your stream right here. What is the public seeing? As well as view comments and even insert advertisements. So there is a lot going on in this screen to enable YouTube live streaming real quick. And then I'm going to be signing off here. Go to youtube.com slash account underscore features. When you go here, scroll to the very, very bottom, and you'll see this. Now, some people may not have it. Others will. So just go to YouTube.com, says account features. Scroll to the very bottom and see if you do. If you do, click enable, and you've got live streaming. We've already got it enabled on the Crisis Sub, so I can't show you that step of the process. But it explains itself. You just click a button, and boom, there you go. So nevertheless, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. I'm Crisis YT, and wait, if you want to stop live streaming, just click this button right here again. I am out, guys. Peace. And here's some videos you guys may have missed. On the left is a motivational commentary in which I talk about building a strong foundation and how it can help you be successful in life. And on the right is my Minecraft Let's Play series. It is Crisis Craft, I think episode 12. So go check it out if uh, if you like some Minecraft videos. Also, the video on the center of your screen, that's, uh, that's over there on the Crisis Hub, my community network style channel. It's really good. Go check it out. Also, my website, Crisis.tv. Tech and gaming news. It's awesome. Go check it out as well. A lot of stuff to look at. I apologize. I'm Crisis YT, and I'm out, guys. Peace.